Well, as you just saw, rhetoric is plentiful. Solutions are hard to come by. Before we center out on breaking news, Alexis tracked down members of our congressional delegation to hear their ideas on how to stop the mass shootings. You take a look at what's transpired over the last 50 years or so. There wasn't the, at least that I can recall, there wasn't this type of, of action or reaction with shootings and all that kind of thing. So something has happened within our society that has changed in that 50 year time period. Representative Ross Fulcher says we need to get to the root causes of the shootings. How do we reinforce family relationships? How do we address mental health concerns? How do we see these things coming and try to address them up front? It's been four days since the mass shootings in Dayton and El Paso. So I asked, why are we just now hearing from our representatives in Washington? Because it is complicated and there is not a law or set of laws that will just magically fix this. If someone is deranged enough that they want to kill a, a, a bunch of people, they will figure out a way to do it. Senator Jim Risch said he didn't want to talk about the shootings, but he did say he's concerned about President Trump's call for a red flag law. He's yet to see one he likes. The red flag laws, uh, it theoretically, uh, they sound good. Uh, in practice, uh, they haven't worked very good. And the the uh, constitutional uh, uh, protections that every American has really run smack up against problems when you're talking about uh, red flag laws. Congressman Fulcher also struggles with red flag laws. I think what government needs to do is the same thing that our, our society needs to do, our churches need to do, our, our uh, municipalities and local people need to do. And that is to try to address this at the root, try to do what we can to reinforce the positive value system of our families and just our, our, our local governance and relationships with one another.